Touchstone Invitational winner. We were just joking that he hasn't been in all week. This is kind of how you like to do it, sneak up from behind, shoot 64, and win the tournament. Yeah, um, I guess it's better to be late than ever. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, it feels good. I mean, I played, um, obviously I got better each day, and, um, you know, and then came together today. Played uh, played great yesterday, and uh, I knew I had a good round in me. I just didn't know how um, other guys were going to go. I mean, I thought Sean was playing great this, this uh, early. Uh, Ryan was playing great, so it was uh, it was a great test. Okay, take some questions. Um, made a five, I guess. I mean, it was pretty <laughs> easy. <laughs> it, um, you know, they they put the tees up, which was good. You know, made the whole. I, I mean, kind of what happened there is what you want to have in in a sense. I mean, it's it's no fun playing on the tips, you know. Um, so I, I just pushed it, but it, I mean, probably a little bit of adrenaline, you know, and it uh, it just flew, and it um, went in that bush, and they said it was uh, it was all cart path. And um, so it was. It was pretty easy ruling, pretty easy dropping everything, and uh, got there with a five. And um, you know, if I knew I just parted the last two, I would, you know, have like at least two shots with the last three to go. So um, yeah, it was going to be. I knew they could do it, but um, definitely better have a two shot lead than one shot lead. Steve, over here on the left. Congrats. Thank you. Uh, when did you get engaged, and and did that kind of I mean, it's a good thing, obviously, that it's, a, it's sort of a life-changing deal, but um, is it possible that that sort of contributed to the little bit of a flat spot you've had over the last uh, month or two and a few miscuts in there that I wouldn't normally expect to see? Yeah. Um, it's been interesting. I mean, it's been good. I mean, she's only been good for me. Um, but it's um, it, it, everything's kind of happened pretty fast, so it's different, you know, and... and Difference not bad. It's 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 always been good, but it's it's energy that's you know, a year ago the only thing I worried about was playing golf. I mean that's literally it. I really didn't worry about anything else, and now I'm you know kind of starting a family and and we're doing a, a bunch of stuff right now and we did a bunch of wedding stuff last week. So, um, lots kind of changing, but it's all for the better. And each day I feel like I'm understanding it better and adjusting to it better. And um, you know, and it's kind of all about. For us, just communication and compromise and everything, and it's been nothing but awesome. Did you do anything special on the proposal? You know, weird. No, no, didn't do anything weird. She didn't want anything weird. Um, very simple, just me and her, and we did it at Pebble Beach, which is nice, one of my favorite spots, and and, and she likes it too. So it was, uh, it was just a nice evening with us. It was, yeah. It was Saturday before. Ten. We had a five wood. Um, it was a little hybrid. Um, it, uh, you know, a practice round. It maybe just trickles over, but you know, fine around. Um, kind of situation. Got a little pumped up, pushed it right, and it just, I hit it good and it just sailed. And it just, you know, went far. And um, I was thinking, I was thinking back there. I'm like, boy, it's really not a terrible spot to be right here if you're just long. The worst spot you'd be at is it short. I figure if I hit it a little left, that's not too bad. I got a bunch of green. If I hit it right over the pin over, I got a bunch of green. I did not count on hitting it right and long into a fire bush, so that was interesting. When you were walking up there, did you have any idea where it was? Yeah, uh, one of the TV guys said it was just in a bush, in a flower bush, a flower bed. And I was trying to think of where the heck was a flower bed up there because I had no idea. So I was curious. I'm like, boy, I really have no idea where this is. And then, you know, there's stands behind, there's stands to the right. I'm like, gosh, I have no idea where we're going to drop this. This could take forever. And it actually ended up being pretty quick. You know, it was one drop, and, you know, it was actually ended up being pretty easy. Steve? Hunter, there was a, there was a pretty big carrot dangling out there for you um, in another way, uh, according to the numbers crunching. You're going to move up to two in Ryder Cup points, and you're going to finally make a team without having to wait around for a phone call. So how does that hit you? It's great. You know, it's, I mean, you know, it's kind of weird to say it's, you know, I just want to make it on my own. But any way you make a Ryder Cup team is great. It really is. And, um, but um, I felt, you know, my game was good enough to make it on my own. And that was a goal of mine this year. And, you know, I was in it early and um, kind of been falling slowly but surely out of it. And, um, 
but last couple of weeks, the game's been good. You know, I knew it was there. I knew I just had to keep going and keep trusting it. And, um, you know, this weekend, I definitely just I kind of let everything go and just, you know, had some fun. And, you know, it's, you know, there's a lot to think about right now with the FedEx and, and Ryder Cup going in this week. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty proud of how I played and handled all the stuff that was going on kind of in, inside my head and, and on the outside. What happened? Um, I just didn't play very good. It was kind of ugly there, you know. Um, swing got a little out of whack. Um, you know, um, you know there was a lot going on in, in a good way, you know, with, with getting engaged and, you know, kind of having a you know, serious, serious girlfriend and everything. It was, it was all good. It was all positive. It was all fun. We were having a great time, but it was energy going another place. And like I said, I've only worried about golf for the past 27 years of my life. And um, to think about somebody else and what kind of their feelings and stuff was, was just different. And um, it's an adjustment period. I think like anyone knows that when, you know, you get married or anything, it's an adjustment period. And that's kind of, you know, what we went through, but it's, um, but she's only been for the better. And, you know, so it's, uh, you know, and it's, it's been a weird year as it is, you know, I've had two wins this year and I've missed six cuts. So, and I didn't miss one last year. So, I mean, I don't know how this game works. I'm just trying to figure it out as I go, I guess. What exactly did you engage? Pebble, Saturday before Pebble. Which Pebble? Um, US Open. Marla? No, it was before. Yeah. I wouldn't definitely not done it if I would have missed a cut. That would have been like, <laughs> yeah, I did it beforehand. I figured just get it out of the way and don't want to leave it up to that. Marla? Um, you know, I always thought I would be, but no. I, I, I was, I was, if I hated something, I was going to tell her I don't like that at all. But, you know, I was going to keep my mouth shut on until she asked me. But if she loved it, then she loved it. And that's all, you know, all, all I need. What does, this, what does this win mean to you, different from the other wins? Yeah, um, obviously to win any time on the PGA Tour is great. Um, but an event like this, 80 of the best players in the world, um, it, this definitely means it's something special. You know, this is a great, great tournament. Bridgestone does an incredible job. Um, this course is immaculate. You know, every time we come here, it's just like a major. I mean, the course is perfect. Rough, fast greens. Um, and, to, you know, like I said, this is, you know, one of the bigger tournaments we play all year. I mean, this is a world golf event. All the players all over the world come here and play. And, uh, no, nah, it's definitely, it's, it's you know, the best win of my career for sure. And it's, a, and, it's, and it's probably the coolest trophy we get, too. I mean, <laughs> I think it's pretty cool, I have to say. Is, is the feeling the same afterwards, whether it's Phoenix or Akron? I mean, do you um, have the thrill of victory, so to speak? Yeah, I mean, to win is... To be number one is the, the best feeling in the world. I mean, just to do it, to do it when you have to, when you're you know kind of behind and you need to do something special, and to do it when you need it, to make putts like I, I needed to, um, it feels great. Um, but you know, I'll look back on it maybe tomorrow and, and really realize what kind of happened and what I did. I'll, you know, it will sink in a little bit more. You ever think you'd be tighter by third? Um, <laughs> I would say no. I never, ever, ever thought that would be possible. I never crossed my mind. So um, it's definitely different. Um, yes. I mean, I, 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 you know, he'll find his game. I, I have no doubt about that. I think, um, you know. He's going through a lot right now, and I think you just you don't realize how much outside of golf stuff affects golf. Even though we don't want to think it because we're out here playing, that has nothing to do with it. I mean, it's, it does. It really, really does. And, you know, I just, when he gets back in the routine and he kind of finds himself and finds a situation, he'll, he'll be fine. But, um, and I think he needs a Ryder Cup right now, really. You know, I think he wants to be in that setting. And I know, you know, he always gets kind of a hard, you know, nobody thinks he's a great leader. He's, I mean, he, he speaks up when he needs to, and he's a great guy to talk to, and he's, gonna, and he's usually very open. It did. You know, I, I, I was hoping I would secure a spot. I didn't think I jumped a second. Um, 
you know, but it's kind of been a funny year. I mean, it's going to be a, a different team from years past. I know, you know, Jeff Overton's on the team. He's, I mean, gosh, that guy, he slacked today. He finished sixth. I mean, <laughs> guys, guys playing phenomenal golf right now, you know. So, and you got a guy like Dustin Johnson. So it, it's, it's going to be a different team. It's going to be interesting. Tim. No, we thought it was a five. I mean, to hit a three iron from there seemed a long ways. We didn't really want to lay up. I mean, huh? Yeah, two shot lead. Yeah. yeah. Two holes to play. You make par there. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, the thing was there was no out of bounds anywhere that we could see. I mean, the only place you couldn't hit it was short, obviously. Um, if I f hit it right over the pin into the bleachers, it's probably going to hit and come back, and I'm going to drop it there. We've got a ton of green to work with. Um, Hit a little bit left. There's really nothing over there left. There's just not a bad spot to be, except exactly where I hit it. <laughs> and luckily, a bush stopped it. Because if it didn't, it probably, it, who knows where it would have ended up. Um, so we just didn't. I mean, I'm lo I'm looking at the shot. I'm like, there's just really not a bad spot to hit this, except short. I just had to hit it, and um, I found a different spot than I was looking. So it was. It was it was interesting. It was nerve wracking walking up there, going, "Boy, I have no idea where this is. Do you have any wood?" And he's like, "It's not on my book, so, <laughs> so we'll see." Marlon. One more thing about the Tiger on the team. Do you think the team atmosphere was doing good? Yeah, I, you know, I think for sure. You know, he. I mean, people don't think he's a, a team kind of guy, but he's. He'll definitely be a great team member for sure, and um, you just never know when he can just kind of. Get it going, a little momentum on his side, and you know he. I mean, he's he's still he's still number one, I think. Phil, I mean, so I mean, he's he's still a dangerous guy, and, and he uh, he's a good team member. He really is. Any other questions? Team. What's your fiance's name? How long have you guys known her? How long have you known her? Where did you meet her? Um, her name's Candy Harris. Um, K A N D I. And um, um, since December, yeah. Um, <laughs> no, it's um, people say you know. I don't know. People say you know, you know. And I was like, that's crazy talk. But I mean, we, I mean, we had a great, great connection. I mean, she's just, she's just the best. I mean, she just brings out the best in me. So that's all I can ask for. Sorry. <laughs> no. No. Um, not really. Um, her sister married Jason Enlow, who plays on the Nationwide Tour. And that's kind of, and Jason uses Neil Smith, my sports psych guy. So we just kind of met up through that. And um, um, yeah, so it's been been good ever since, really. No. No. He, um, Yeah, no, no. We we spent a bunch of time with them. They live pretty close to me, so. But no, they um, they didn't have any uh, anything to do with us meeting. And the wedding date is uh, January. No, it'll be um, unfortunately unfortunately doing Sony Saturday of Sony. Thank you so much, and congratulations. Good luck Thank next you. week. Thank you. Okay.